Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. I just wanted to do just a quick review of Erasmus Darwin book, Xenomia, or The Origins of Life. Also, and I think I may have done a review on this years ago, and he also wrote one called The Temple of Nature. In both those, Erasmus Darwin, who was Charles Darwin's grandfather, um, kind of gave us the theory of evolution before Charles ever did. And it really helps put in a historical context of the theory of evolution. Now, it's not identical to Darwinian evolution, but it, you can certainly see a lot of the similarities. And I appreciate things like Echo Library, Echo Books, giving us reprints like this. This is 2007. Um, so he quotes Virgil's, the Aeneid, the great classics of Roman history. Earth on whose lap a thousand nations tread, an ocean brooding his prolific bed, night's changeful orb, blue pole and silvery zones, where other worlds encircle other suns, one mind inhabits, one diffusive soul, wields the large limbs and mingles with the whole. All right. So he wrote this in 1794. Now Charles Darwin, excuse me, Erasmus Darwin was in the Hellfire Club, which was basically, who else was that? Priestley and uh, Gibbons and some of these that uh, basically were kind of almost quasi-atheist that were part of the aristocracy in Great Britain. They got together and just like you know, we talk about raising, whatever. The Hellfire Club kind of was like that. They got around and they did things. And it was, and I think even like Ben Franklin may have had some things to do with this. Um, to the candid and genius members of the College of Physicians of the Royal Philosophical Society of the two universities and to all who study the operations of the mind as a science or who practice medicine as a profession, the subsequent work is with great respect inscribed by the, by the author Derby, May 1st, 1794. Fascinatingly enough, May 1st, 1776, and I don't think there's a connection there, May 1st, 1776 is when the Order of the Illuminati was done and uh, started by Adam Weizsack. But again, I don't think there's any of that. Uh, to Erasmus Darwin on his work entitled Zoonomia. Okay, so um, it has a little uh, thing, a little preface to it. Um, uh, okay. Let me just read this. This kind of tells you where he's going with this. The great creator of all things has infinitely diversified the works of his hands, but has at the same time stamped a certain similitude on the features of nature that demonstrates to us that the whole is one family of one parent. Um, on this sim similitude is founded all rational analogy, which so long as it's concerned in comparing the essential properties of bodies leads us to many important discoveries. Uh, but when, but with the, excuse me, but with a licentious activity that links together objects otherwise disconcordant by some fanciful similitude, it may indeed collect ornaments, wit, and poetry. But philosophy and truth recoil from such combinations. The want of a theory for, deduced from such an analogy goes on. So basically, what he's saying is similarity has to do with a common ancestry instead of a common design by a designer. So. Section one of motion, explanations and definitions. Muscular fibers, emotions of the retina demonstrated by experiments, which the eye, you know, Darwin really had a struggle with the eye because there's no way it could have evolved. Could not, it was just, you know, partially formed eyes are not beneficial to the system so they don't get passed down to the next generation, according to Darwinian theory. So, but it's that way with everything. Laws of animal causation. Um, on and on and so forth. So I think, was it De Hollenbach and others like the 1770s kind of came up with evolution and even Augustine referred to it, Aristotle kind of referred to it as well. So it's been around for a long time. So of sensitive motions, voluntary motions, uh, all kinds of stuff. So this is, I, I'd recommend it whether you're evolutionist or not, just reading it, knowing it's out there. Uh, through page 366 and uh, of course he, he was a genius he was somebody uh, 
all kinds of stuff ocular spectra of generation imperfection of language new animal uh, but is in truth a branch or an elongation of the parent um, so dr hartley and his work on man some other philosophers so this is just kind of a neat thing i'm marking that page because there's things i want to go further into but knowing Zenomia volume one are the laws of organic life erasmus darwin that uh, this is where it came from there's a whole history of uh, this you know he was a doctor and of course they wanted charles to be a doctor then they wanted him to become a clergy and uh, then he just kind of came independently wealthy because of the aristocracy and the money in his family. So, anyhow, Zoonomia, Volume 1, or The Laws of Organic Life, Erasmus Darwin, Charles Darwin's grandfather. Talk with you later. God bless in Jesus' name.